nice start uh, what are your sensations uh, a couple of days ago you told me that you felt good uh, yeah tonight confirmed uh, this yeah look i have a good feeling um a bit tricky today uh always is early on you're playing against the lefty you're playing against uh, uh you know he's he, he, i've always found him a little bit tricky you know i, I played him in borstadt he got me there but i've hit with him a fair bit um got that big nice lefty serve um plays with a bit of spin um it's a, it was always going to be a little bit of a tricky match but really happy that um i played well I managed to have a lot of momentum. He got a bit of momentum there. I got it back and then, um, yeah, finished off the match well. How do you feel uh, on now that you tested them uh, mm. match-wise, uh, uh, the speed of the course and those new balls? There are uh, not everybody agrees. Yeah. Uh, somebody loves the yeah, balls, sure. somebody doesn't. Yeah, and that's tennis. You know, you go, yeah. Some people are going to like the conditions. Some people are going to not like the conditions. Some people are going to like the ball. Some people are not going to like the balls. Uh, now, what I will, match, what, what, what I will comment on is is um, is they they play they're playing a lot different to what they were in Brisbane and Sydney. I think because of the um, conditions here in Melbourne, you get a bit more of a, a drier heat. I would say, and today they seemed a fair bit livelier than than I would have said was the case in the last two tournaments that I played. I thought they were, especially when I played against Gilles, I thought they were quite dead. Um, conditions were heavy. Um, here, with that Melbourne, that drier heat, um, I thought, York, yeah, right? definitely. I thought it was um, flying a little bit more. Court seven's a quicker court, I think, than maybe the, the, the stadium courts. Um, but look, it was a great atmosphere out there. I thought the crowd were awesome it was full um always nice to have the home support um i like to use their energy and and it was a real help today um it might just be my impression you yeah. broadcast interview you looked a bit down Are you disappointed to be out there so long or, or oh definitely not no look i think in in best of five set tennis you just got to manage your emotions a little bit you know it's it's a lot different to best of three sets where i think you can just turbocharge the whole time you know i think uh You've got to just kind of lift at the right moments. And, and for the majority of the match, I thought I actually was actually doing that pretty well. Um, and then obviously, you know, he, he actually pulled off a couple of really good games in that second set. I won the pivotal third set. And, and um, yeah, look, it's just best of five set tennis is just a little bit different. You've got to really kind of manage your, your emotional state throughout the uh, throughout the match because you know you can be out there for four or five hours you know and and you can't be pedal to the metal the whole time you know emotionally um for with with the way i wanted to play against him you know i didn't i wanted to try to take the ball a little bit earlier i wanted to try to rush him a little bit more um if if i started going back and really trying to zizz it with a, a lot of energy that's uh I thought that that would give me a, a less, lesser chance of winning. Okay. Um, a lot of Aussie winners today. Yeah. Must feel pretty special to be part of what could be yeah. a record contingent. Yeah, for sure. I think, uh, look, I've been saying it for a long time, strength in numbers with Australian tennis and the more people we can get competing that are 200, the more, pe you know, the more people that will make that transition to the top 100. I've been banging on that for a long time. Um, you know, let's not just punch the lotto ticket for the... For the one, you know, next Roger Federer, let's get strength in numbers, and we'll get guys to come through and and push each other along. Um, I've been a big believer in that. And, and obviously, you're on a, your your format yeah. thing is you know well documented. Yeah. Does it feel like you're coming back to Melbourne Park where you can put it all together and put on a show for home fans, or is? Yeah. Know? Look, I always feel a responsibility when I'm when I'm here in Australia that I want to play good tennis. Mm -hmm. You know, like I have a lot of friends and family and, and supporters that have, you know, watched my journey here in Melbourne and they've watched, you know, they've been at every match I've played for, you know, however many years. So I do feel that extra added responsibility here, but, you know, my next match is going to be tough. I'm playing uh, against, uh, it's still going right now, but it's either Andy um, or Roberto Bautista Agut and both of those guys are unbelievable competitors. They... Great baseliners, um, you know, Bautista Agut's coming off unbelievable form. He won in Doha, 
and beat some good players along the way too. Um, it's probably one of the toughest second rounds I think you can have at this tournament. But, you know, that's what it should be. If you're not seeded, you're going to verse someone good in that, in that, that second round, someone of a higher seed than you, and, and uh, we'll give it a crack. And if you play Andy, I guess it's a yep. completely different ball game. Yeah, obviously then you have to really manage your own emotional levels, you know, after um, his announcement. But in terms of Andy, he's always had a lot of time for me. I've always... Um, you know, a really special match for me was when I played him um, third round centre court at Wimbledon when he went on to win Wimbledon. Um, you know, I hit with him just just in Brisbane a couple of weeks ago, and um, you know, he's a he's a he's done so much for the sport, but not just that. I I've looked up to him throughout you know my career um, because I just love the way how he how he went out there on court and. And he was a warrior, you know. When he stepped on court, he was he was a warrior. He would uh, leave it all out there physically, and and um, you knew that, you know, he was just going to compete. And I I kind of um, admired that, and and wanted to emulate that when I played. Either way, you're moving on to the bigger courts. You think from here, you're guessing you're pretty happy. About I don't know. That. I don't know. Maybe they'll put me on seven again. I'm not totally <laughs> sure. Um, we'll yep. see. Have you moved into a bigger court though? Or are you happy to see oh, that? I've played on you know the biggest courts. You know, of, um, so well, I'll play wherever, mate. You know, I'll play in, in. I'll play at Albert Park if they want to put me there. Just a last follow up about Australian tennis. Uh, I was uh, talking with Andrea Sassippi. Uh, half an hour ago and asked him about Alex, uh, yep. which is the big sensation now. And he told me that, uh, well, Andreas is a seasoned, uh, very experienced, uh, he knows the game very well, CP. He said uh, there, were, there was not one single shot uh, that impressed me that much, but somehow I couldn't score a single winner. Yeah. Well, what's your take about uh, this youngster coming Yeah, up Alex? Today? Yes. Um, I love, yeah, look, I love, yeah, look, I love, yeah, look, I love Alex. Um, he's always had the ability to, when when he stepped on the court, to just compete to the you know absolute highest of intensity. Um, that holds him in good good stead. But he's also you know one of the quickest guys on tour, in my opinion. You know, I've I've played against a lot of guys now. I've hit with a lot of guys and. Um, there's not many that are actually cover the court like Alex. He manages to hold the baseline position, um, anticipates very well, but has a good set of wheels with him too, and that makes him really hard to to play through. Um, yeah, he's uh, obviously the sky's the limit for him, and and uh, I watched his match in the locker room today. Tough, tough, tough for him. You know, really tough. Not easy. Sydney wasn't an easy tournament. It wasn't an easy tournament for me, and I just played quarters there. I can't imagine um, the the short backup for him. It must have been incredibly tough, and and um, yeah, he's probably a little bit rawder <laughs> to to have to do the quick backup with Seppi also. But um, look, he he's uh, it shows you just how um, professional he is. Uh, you know, consummate professional at, at 19 years old, and I think that that you know you've got to really admire and take your hat off um in that respect too and two final questions for that. yeah